Hey guys, it's Jesse from the Pathways Wellness Team. Uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about sleep recovery related to emergency services, but ultimately it could be used um, for any type of poor sleep situations. Now I had done a video about sleep hygiene tactics that I used to get better sleep a while back, if you wanna go back into our YouTube list, but today is gonna be tips that I use um, in order to recover from a poor night's sleep or a long ES shift. Now the first thing that I focus on is drinking a lot of water the day of, during the night, and the day after. And I think that that really helps with the physical toll that you feel from staying up all night. And it really gives your body what it needs for that extra use that you're doing. I also feel like it, it limits the amount of caffeine that I consume during the night, um, which again will help me get back to sleep once I do return home. Second thing that I do is I look to get back on a consistent schedule. So the next night, opposed to going to bed three, four, five hours early or taking multiple naps throughout the day, I focus on just trying to get back into what my regular routine was, maybe getting to bed an hour early. I feel like if I get to bed too early and sleep too long, you know, I feel really lethargic the following day, almost like I had an ES ship. So I'm just pushing those consequences further down the road. And then the third thing that I do, and I think that this is really difficult for a lot of us, um, and sometimes not practical or not possible, is setting some boundaries, um, both for work as well as in your personal life. Um, what I mean is, you know, if you can, looking at your schedule and shifting some appointments to another day, um, a day where you know you're going to be rested and you can work for a little bit longer. Um, and that, you know, takes away some of that pressure. Um, for those shifts prior to as well as your capabilities of working the following day and then personal boundaries at home whether it's with your partner uh, your family kids or just you personally but really setting some expectations that you may need a little bit more you time that day um, so if you have any questions certainly reach out to myself um, you can also stop by Thursday mornings for a wellness break at 8 15 as well as Thursday afternoon at noon. And these are just 15 minute breaks where you can check in on health and wellness and talk to some personal trainers. Take care.